Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Uh, my name is Danielle Carpenter, and I am here to represent the Naval Oceanographic Office uh, Regional Data Assembly Center update. Uh, this update was previously given for many years by Mr. Bruce McKenzie. Uh, he has, in the last year, taken a promotion and left the division. So. Uh, I am now your GRIST representative, uh, so it's myself along with the other three women listed on the slide make up the team at the Naval Oceanographic Office. Uh, we also have a poster that um, kind of goes through the process of the processing that we do, uh, so if you'd like to take a look and have any questions, feel free to ask. So the current status for NAVO, we are uh, providing a variety of L2P GDS 2.0 products to the PODAC that is all in GRIS data format. Uh, it is from the METOP B and C satellites, the Global 4K product, the SMPP VIRS Global 750 meter product, and the EWSG1 IO8 kilometer product. Uh, we are also providing a L4 GDS 2.0, that is our K10 Global 10 kilometer product. Uh, we are currently processing uh, the four items listed um, that uh, get that is GRIS data that gets assimilated into our Navy Global Ocean Forecast System. We're processing MSG2 and 3 Severi L3C that we received from the PODAC. We are processing GCOM AMSR2 that we received from JAXA. Uh, we do have a backup source of receiving that data from OSPO if for some reason anything happens to the JAXA feed. Uh, we're also processing Sentinel-3A and B Slister L2P data that we receive uh, from NOAA STAR um, from their terrestrial UMETSET cast feed. We do have additional GRIS data available that can be provided upon request, that being the NOAA 20 and NOAA 21 VIRS Global 750 meter L2P, as well as the Global 1 kilometer L2P product from METOPS B and C. Since the GRIS meeting last year in Barcelona, we uh, replaced the MSG one feed in our processing with MSG2, and then earlier this year, we replaced MSG3, um, or we replaced MSG4 with MSG3 data in our processing. Uh, in the summer, we began processing NOAA 21 in OPTEST, and um, last month, we deemed it operationally ready for being ingested into our model. Um, that actually concludes my update. So uh, if I have, unless there's any questions, thank you very much.